hobby readers, nationeers, harkeneers. Today I am going to be interviewing Caleb Nation, author of Harken. And if you have not read this, I don't know why. Why haven't you done this? Seriously, come on. Come on. But uh, this interview is spoiler free, so don't worry about not knowing all about of the Harken things hand motions. Let the interview begin! So in the first few chapters of Harkin, we learn that Michael Asher is the eye guy, being able to read people's emotions uh, by just seeing a photograph of them. If you had an ability or, you know, talent or something like that that you wanted, what would it be? Now if you'd asked me this a few years ago, I probably would have said invisibility, which probably came a lot from the fact that I was a huge fan of The Lord of the Rings. And I just thought I could literally go anywhere in the entire world by just walking onto an airplane, nobody knowing I was there, and fly places until I ended up someplace interesting. I wouldn't have to pay any bills because I could just live in mansions while the owners were away. But then I realized that's a pretty lonely existence because if I'm the only person who can go invisible, then I can't really take anyone along with me. So now I think I'd love to fly because at least that way I could carry someone along with me piggyback style. You mentioned a lot of awesome cars in Harkin. Which one is your favorite? My favorite car is the Maserati! I actually have a few favorite cars and they're in kind of a list in my life goals where I like if I suddenly come into a great deal of money I'll get the car that's number one and then if I get more money then I'll sell that car and then get the one on level two and so on. It goes like this, Maserati, Aston Martin, Lamborghini. But I gotta sell like five million books before I can get that. <laughs> Last question for you Mr. Nation, what can readers look forward to in the next book in the Harkin series? A lot of Harkin has to do with the belief of reptilians, which are these reptile-like creatures who disguise themselves as humans and secretly control our world, and a lot of people actually believe that's true. But that's not the only conspiracy theory out there, and I'll be introducing a few more in the next book, and a lot more explosions. Thank you so much to Caleb for setting up this blog tour, so uh... Any last words? That was supposed to turn on! Thanks so much for inviting me. If you haven't already, you can download the first three chapters of Harkin at readharkin.com and subscribe to me at youtube.com slash Caleb Nation.